Hey there, it's Mark. Enjoy this snippet from a previous episode of the Race Grooves Weekend Show. There were the Black Blister Mystery Cars, right? And the Bugatti Veyron was in there. Well, they were sealed packages for a while. And you know, nowadays, they have, a little peak, they have a little peak hole right there. Well, you know, after a while, they stopped making the, the mystery packages sealed. And they put a peak hole in the back. So the one I used in the thumbnail is not a 2007 package. But you can see gold and you can see white through the peak hole. Well, those two models are 16 Angels and a Corvette. Nice models, but you know, I got them. I picked them up. I liked them. But that's later on in the Mystery Car Series. Uh, now they're called Mystery Models, right? Mystery Models. In fact, there was a Mystery Car Series. Regular series on the pegs, right? And, well, you know what? The Bugatti Veyron was in there. Quite collectible. And... People desire those. Well, you know, Peak Time Racing, he bought a bunch of mystery packs, and he was expecting to get the Bugatti Veyron. 2007, there's supposed to be the Hot Wheels Bugatti Veyrons in them. I was expecting to get probably around 20 Hot Wheels Bugatti Veyrons. I'm sure you can understand the feeling. You're expecting, hopefully, Bugatti Veyrons. I don't know about 20, but I'll talk about that in a second. I actually talked to him and told him that I really wanted to win this auction before it even ended because I was really looking forward to getting all these Bugattis in the auction. He did get the Maserati MC12. That's a fantastic card in itself. That was, that was a very cool car to find. But as he's doing these unboxing, he's going car after car after car. And uh, all of a sudden he notices a little something funny. And we'll open this one up. Another one of these quad bikes. There we go. This is the quad bike that I just opened and you can see that this is being re-glued. Now he did get a refund from the seller. He bought it from eBay and a lot and the seller issued a refund, rightfully so. I mean, obviously glued packages. And how do you protect yourself from that? Well, you know what, if you if you get a bad purchase, you know, eBay, you can file a complaint. You can take care of that. You have ways to get your money back. And if you happen to run into a package at a dealer or if you had a toy store or something, you're gonna look for glue marks, uh, look for suspicious stuff, you know. It's hard to say, but at least, you know, try to protect yourself the best that you can. Now, uh, as far as you know, he was expecting 20 out of 70. Well, there, there is, that is not going to happen. You're not going to get 20 out of 70. The Mystery Car Series, you know, like uh, in 2018, there's the Night Burner Series. There's 10 cars in the series, Night Burner Series. Gas Monkey Garage is one of the 10 cars. Now, you're not going to see Gas Monkey Garage all year long in all the cases, right? No, it's one out of 10. And it'll be a couple months, and then they have something else, something else. Well, the Mystery Car Series, there was 24 that year. So there's basically, it's just easy math. There's like two per month, two per month, two, two new cars, two new cars. It's not that simple. There's some overlap. But, well, if there's like two per month, and Mystery Cars, is the Bugatti's one of them, well, it's only going to show up during a different time period. To whatever time period it was in the cases, that's when it's going to show up. Let's say it was in the March mix. Well, you know, what if a guy buys a thousand mystery cars in September, expecting to find the Bugatti? Uh, pff, the Bugattis were in the mix months before that. There's something else later on in the fall. So, you know, don't buy 2007 mystery packs thinking the Bugatti's going to be in there. It was just another series, and they were only released during a, there's two colors, white and yellow. But they were only released during a certain time period. Uh, you know, he had fun opening his packages. Was he really looking? For, yeah, he's looking for a Bugatti Veyron. He could just buy one off of eBay, right? You could save yourself the time, money, hassle. Instead of spending $300 and, you know, getting 70-something packs or whatever, right? But why? He's a content creator, right? You know, people like to watch unboxing videos. I mean, you know, why else would he want to do it, right? Wow, Race Crews, 2.6 million views on my uh, mystery car unboxing video where I got a whole bunch of uh, Bugatti Veyrons. 
talking about the Bugatti Veyron, you know, uh, Drifter D, he had messaged me, I don't know, a few weeks ago, and he asked me about scalping, and he made a video talking about it. Um, now, here's a screenshot of my response to him. I said, in short, my definition of a scalper is somebody who takes a currently available item and tries to get an inflated value for it. And he thanked me for the response. And so, I get it. This comes up often, you know, fairly often. So that's why I kind of have this canned response. And I said inflated value. I didn't say it tries to sell it for more. I'll talk about that more later. Well, Drifter D, he made, he made a scalper video. And he says there's four stages as far as he's concerned. He kind of broke it down to four stages. And these kind of videos are neat to make. It creates discussion, have a conversation. Is he right? 100% right? No, everybody's got their opinions. I got my opinion. You might not agree with my opinion. That's fine. Uh, so Drifter D, what is a scalper? He said there's four stages of scalping. There's a good type where you buy tin for trading, selling for a minimal markup, helping other collectors out, but you're not in it for the money. There's second stage. You buy everything for yourself, but you love the casting because you love the casting. That's all right. It's your money. You buy what you want. If you want 10, if you want 100, buy. And in this case, he's saying you're not even selling it. You're just hoarding them all. And you're not letting anybody else get them. In America, it's America. You can buy what you want. Buy as much as you want. And on a side note, as long as you're taking care of your responsibilities, okay, if you got a wife and family at home and you're every night overnight going to Walmart, you might want to think about your priorities. I've been there, done that. And I'm not pointing the finger at you. I was there, all right? Number three, hoarder scalper. They know the car would have some value in the future. They only buy multiples because they know will appreciate in value. So why not? If you know that a uh, Nissan whatever is going to be worth more money in the future, why not buy extras? And he knows. Even though this is a hoarder scalper, he knows. And here, here's how he knows. So let's say you can travel back in time to year 2003. Why is that year relevant? Well, that's because that was when the Bugatti Veyron Hot Wheels was first released. Would you travel back in time to buy all the Bugatti Veyron's Hot Wheels, travel back to 2018 and resell them? Yes, precisely. See, I see you nodding your head. That's what I would do too. Because the Bugatti Veyron back then, all the collectors didn't expect it to skyrocket in price. It's selling for hundreds of dollars nowadays. So that's the thing though, like I, I will admit, if I could predict the future and say like, oh, this uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS is gonna skyrocket in future, I will definitely buy as much as I can of this car. You know you would do it too. And you should do it. If, if there's a Datsun wagon and you know it's gonna be worth $10 forever, you know, and you see five of them, you should buy five of them. Maybe you can hook somebody up. Maybe you can sell them. Maybe you can trade them for a super. You found them, right? Stores are not museums. You find them, you can buy it. It's yours. Uh, you know, that's up to you. I'm not going to I'm not gonna have any complaints. Now, people are going to say, yeah, but you're not sharing. But nobody complains when it's the fantasy cars, right? If, if someone were to buy all of the surf crates, right? If someone were to buy all of the surf crates, People wouldn't even care for the most part. You know, it's not a hard model to find. Go ahead, clear the pegs. Thank you very much. People only complain when it's a popular model. So I kind of summarized his four points. You can check out his video if you want. Now, oh, stage four. Can't forget stage four. He said four stages. Buy 10 and immediately sell online for a huge markup. It's America. He can do it. And he's, he's saying don't support these people. Yeah, that's, you're right, you're right. But sometimes time is money, right? If that guy over there spends all his time getting those cars, how about I keep working, 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 I keep making my money, and then I just buy the car done, and then I could keep earning my living. I don't have to waste time going to look for a car. It's up to you what you want to do. My perspective, eh, but it depends on the scalper value. If it's a Datsun Wagon and you know it's always going to be worth X amount of money, Sometimes you just buy it now. That's all right. And um, I have one more thing to add, and this is why I use the term inflated value. I have a term called scalper trading. 
I've never, I, I don't think I've ever mentioned it in the video, but it's a term I use, scalper trading. It's when somebody finds a, a car right now, hard to find because it's just barely showed up, but yet they try to scalp it or trade it for something that's definitely worth more. The only reason the item he has right now is worth $10 is because they're barely out there, just barely started showing up. If you wait, it's not going to be worth $10 in the future. Uh, I don't have anything exactly here. So scalper trading, somebody trying to take an item, a currently available item, and to flip it for a higher value. That's my definition of being a scalper. If you're a scalper, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. We're just talking about terms here. If you want to call me a scalper, you can call me a scalper. I don't care. Because if I have the opportunity, I, I might. I, and if I decide to do it, I can't. I spent the money. The Race Grooves Weekend Show ran for two years. Each weekly show covered multiple topics. I will be re-uploading some of the segments that make sense as a standalone video. Most of the shows are enlisted, but you can find them all in the Race Grooves Weekend Show playlist. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.